So how do you catch sturgeon from a boat? Hi, Paul from Anchor Caddy here. And last couple episodes we went through what type of rod, reel, line, and how to set up your rod to get ready to sturgeon fish from a boat. If you missed either one of those episodes, you can click on one of the links here, or you can come back and watch them afterwards. In this episode, we're going to show you how to tie a typical sturgeon leader. So let's get started. All right, in this section, you're going to need your Dacron leader, a hook, your dual lock snap, and an optional pull noodle. Okay, starting with the Dacron leader, different baits require different leader lengths. After getting your bait on the hook, you don't want to have too much leader left over to make your bait float off the river bottom. For, for baits like squid, smelt, and other similar size baits, you'll probably need about a 20 inch leader, uh, but the actual size you need may vary. For bigger baits like whole shad, if you're going after oversized sturgeon, your leader length could be 48 inches, maybe even longer. All right, so let's, let's cut the leader. So we're going to cut this one at about 20 inches. Let's tie the uh, snap on there first. And again, I'm going to use the improved clinch knot. And you're going to want to make sure you cinch it down really good. And cut off the excess. Okay, let's get the hook on the other end. Now for hook size, if I'm not targeting a specific size sturgeon, I'll use a 7 knot hook. But if I'm using a uh, hole or a partial shad and I'm going after oversize, I'll up it to a 10 odd hook. Now sturgeon aren't hook shy, so it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, get that tied. You're gonna wanna cinch that down pretty good and trim off the excess. And there you have it. Okay, now for the pool noodle. These pool noodles, if you get them the right time of year, you can get these for about a buck. And of course, you can buy an off-the-shelf leader holder where you can pay five, ten, maybe even more. Um, but like I say, for a buck, you can get yourself a pool noodle. All right, so the pool noodle you can cut down to size depending on where you're going to store this thing. I have this one cut at about ten inches, so it fits in the top of my tackle box. Now, what you're going to want to do is on on one end of the pool noodle, you're going to want to cut a slice down one side. And what that allow you to do is you can take your leader, stick it in the slot right there. And you can wrap your leader up around there, stick the hook in there, and this 10 inch will hold about 9 or 10 liters. Okay, that's all there is to it. Your leader is now set up. Now stay tuned for our next episode where we show you how to bait the hook using this type of a leader. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to anchorcaddy.com for all your anchoring system needs.